Mac Miller. You know, R.I.P. Mac Miller, man. One of my favorite artists. Hello, my name is Mac Miller. That's my introduction. It, it's still so incredible to me, just the whole idea that people give a shit. You know what I mean? Like, I'm... Why? And to me, it was never, like, a weird thing, I guess. I just never really thought about it. <sighs> this was so good, and it's very sad to know that Mac will not be progressing past this point, but, um... Like, I, like I, obviously, I knew, like, yeah, most rappers aren't white, but I wasn't, like... Should I be doing this? So there's a lot, there's a lot of right. talk about me being on drugs. Yeah, it does. I mean, look at me. Do I look like I'm on drugs to you? I had a drug problem, you know, for a long time. It wasn't just no. music, but I, I definitely was going through a drug problem and a... Uh, Death investigation is underway. Air 7 was over the scene when we saw what we believe to be Miller's body being transported into a coroner's van. We've seen investigators walking in and out of the home. Bro. Dude, that's so sad, man. Mac Miller. Yeah, y'all gotta know him by now. It's not like he's dropped one of the most iconic songs and albums in the last decade. And you know, with Mac Miller, I think he's on that end where the most loyal fans and people who appreciate hip hop know just exactly how pure yeah. and influential he was in the music industry. And on the other end, you just got the straight up haters. And that's something Mac dealt with his entire career. But we all know that didn't stop him. Mac was born in Pittsburgh on January 19th, 1992. Mac that's had a mother crazy. and father, and also a brother named Miller. Nah, that's crazy that I was able to like sit here and listen to his new music through high school. Bro. Man. Bro, that sucks, dude. That sucks to hear. Man, I was so upset whenever I found out. R.I.P., bro. Miller. Huh. Sounds familiar. That's because Mac's real name wasn't Mac Miller. Malcolm James McCormick well, was obviously. actually the government name for our boy, and the stage name was obviously a rendition of the two names. Easy Mac was the original stage name throughout his high yep. school and earlier projects. I'll get into that in a sec, but obviously as time progressed, Mac began to grow out of that name. Mac's parents at a young age always pressured Mac to do well in school so he could later have success playing sports like football. But Mac knew he had something else in mind yeah. for his life. <laughs> At a young age, we could see Mac listening to older kinds of rap like the Sugar Hill Gang or the Beastie Boys. And by yeah. the time he was a teen, he had taught himself a variety of instruments, falling in love with the idea that one day he could compose his own songs and become a singer. While Mac obviously He's knew so what he talented, wanted to do bro. in his life, we also know that he gained at an early start to his dreams a variety of hate where people said his singing just low-key sucked. Despite <laughs> early hate, it was obvious that it didn't affect him as much. And as he leaned into music more in high school, he began to notice that he had a talent of freestyling where he and his friends would get high and it would go on for hours on end till eventually his friends knew he had some sort of talent and they all suggested for him to start recording music to try to bring a name out of himself. He ended up growing out of playing sports and he was at a point in his life where having fun and realizing he didn't want a backup plan to all of this sparked right, a creative yeah. turn. Dude, that's what happens to everyone. Grow, recording off of shitty mics and going to friends' houses to record countless songs. The process confused Mac. He had no idea how he could set a name for himself, but coming back to his older roots of music made him realize there's no point of not trying. Mac Miller adopted this new persona and began to have ideas of releasing mixtapes under his chosen rapper name, Easy Mac. He started off a release under this name with a mixtape titled, But My Mac and Ain't Easy. And if I'm gonna be straight up with you, for a high schooler, this mixtape really showed a start to his creative mind, and you could tell experimentation and originality was something Mac yeah, always yeah. presented. Mac being in high school rarely paid attention, and school to Mac was just a way for him to get his name out there where he would pass CDs of his projects to people around his school. Mac being young had no money for studio time and other areas of his work, so he took the smartest decision a stupid teenager could possibly think of, hustling motherfuckers and stealing. Mac would okay. often steal technology like TVs to sell for money, and along with this insane side hustle, he also began selling some mid to druggies, and he became the most hated drug dealer because of how booped the shit he sold to his quote-unquote clients. <laughs> yeah. If that's what you call drug buyers, I don't know. But anyways, Mac Miller being in Pittsburgh started to be seen locally, and as time went on, he released multiple other projects, but by 2009, he outgrew the Easy Mac name and decided to change that shit to the name we all know and love, yeah, Mac, Mac Miller. Miller. Mac around this time met a rapper who y'all probably know, but I'm guessing y'all probably forgot about him because, not gonna lie, I ain't seen this dude in the mainstream as much, Wiz Khalifa. The two conveniently went to the same high Yo. school, and both were up and coming, so they each got along very well, helping each other make it big. Wait, I didn't and know that. Crazy to think about these two's ambitions yeah. and how it worked out for them. 
And you know, around this time, Mac began to work on the mixtape, which I think was the starting point of the real taste Mac Miller has to offer into the music industry, a mixtape titled Kids, standing for kicking some dope shit, a concept revolving around the banger indie film Kids, a project all about having fun and living a little. This album garnered a cult-like following because of this. Mac began uploading his shit onto YouTube, where each video was a hit after hit, paving way for Mac to not just be oh, seen in that's Pittsburgh, not a hot take, but to be bro. seen around the world, all at the age of 19. This dude was basically straight out of high school, by the way. Kids don't yeah. be getting his credit in hip hop with the amount of bangers included. I can't count the amount of times me and some homies were driving around bumping outside. Yo, my bro. favorite on the album. Oh the my god. At this point, Mac had garnered nah, the bro. he deserved, and it allowed him to go on his first tour, the incredibly dope tour, which I'm pretty sure around the time he met Chance the Rapper and helped him launch his career on his tours. With the masses already being put on to Mac's music, Mac would eventually get noticed by the same label Wiz Khalifa was in, Rostrum Records. And because of his connections with Wiz, he thought it would be a good idea to sign with this label too, where he ended up releasing even more mixtapes like Best Day Ever and Dude. I Love Life Thank You. Both solid projects in my opinion. Insane. Point, Mac had already reached a sort of mainstream status, but it would take his first debut studio album, Blue Side Park, which reached onto Yo, the billboards bro. and sold over 100K in the first week. Despite all the success, Mac still managed to still gain haters, and critics were quick to demise his efforts, calling him still a frat boy like rapper. But that didn't stop Mac from continuing his efforts to pave his way into leaving a staple in the music industry. Mac slowly learned new things and met new connections, meeting rappers like Earl Sweatshirt and, of course, Tyler the Creator. Through these connections, Mac and Odd Future connected, and throughout the 2010s, Mac could be seen in photos hanging out with Odd Future. But sadly, we didn't get a Mac Miller and Odd Future collab. Yo, why did that not happen, bro? They were literally around each other all the time. Why did it not happen? Well, that and why did Odd Future split up? I don't know anything about them. Besides, uh, one song, Rella. <laughs> but hey, at least we got this banger right here with Tyler. Now, on God, y'all sleeping on this song, because this shit has some wild-ass lyrics. Anyways, continuing on. Now, Mac had done around at this point everything he dreamed of as a kid. He had all yeah. the success he could dream of, all the money, all the hoes, whatever. But that doesn't mean he wasn't feeling a bit different inside of himself. Mac, because of the amount of money and fame he was presented with, started having a drug problem. A drug problem that led to not curing depression, bro. but strengthening it even more. Because Why of do they all have mindset, drug problems, bro? Him adopt more serious tones into his projects, with each new one bringing a new sound to the table that would later help him adopt into more critically acclaimed albums like Circles and Swimming. Watching movies with the sound off, and Faces, two projects that slowly helped us really understand the type of artist Mac Miller was trying to be. Both albums take us deep into Mac's mind and struggles. His destruction of drugs, ruined relationships, yeah. depression, and finding peace are all the types of things you could see in this project. Mac during these projects realized how bad his drug problem really was, and with the roller coaster of emotions and faces, Mac Miller intended and thought that the last track on the tape, the grand finale, was his last song on earth because of the rate of the amount of drugs he was abusing. While Max seemed right. to be in a better headspace with the release of Good AM, it was pretty clear how much his dependence on drugs had made him dug himself into a hole far too deep. Oh, the Divine Feminine was the next project Max seemed to resonate himself with. And love this time had seemed to get to him, and this is definitely clear on one of my favorite Max songs, Congratulations. This was also around the time he began to date Ariana Grande. L Grande, bro. more time around loved ones. Nah, 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 nah. L Ariana Grande, dude. L Ariana Grande. I can't believe it, man. Can't believe she did that to him. Uh, it makes my blood boil. Mac's last project he released alive, Swimming, was being made. Swimming is everything Mac Miller built himself to be. It only took Mac dying for y'all to realize how ahead of his time Mac really was. Yeah. Like, we all know Fantano was trying to be different with this review. Because how the fuck did this dude come to the conclusion that this album was a three when this album got What's the Use and Small Worlds? But fuck. Anyways, after Mac's release of this album, his drug problems still seemed to be made worse. And around yeah. September, a month after the release of that masterpiece, an unexpected turn of events seemingly no, happened no. out of nowhere. Mac Miller, a few days before his death, was, as we know, began trying to re-up on his preferred substances, exchanging negotiations between him and his dealer to get him the stuff he needs at a recording studio. And of course, the plug being the plug, they didn't show up, even though this dude on God had over a grand waiting for his ass. But anyways, Mac began exchanging a new conversation between a friend of the dealer to give him some other stuff because the other dude wasn't coming through. Mac had ordered an adult worker, more drugs, and on top of that, the other dealer hours later gave him the other shit he didn't give before too. And on September 7, okay, 2018, bro. Mac Miller was found dead by his assistant. Cameron Petit... I don't know how you say it. 
was the dealer that sold him drugs later tested to include fentanyl. Mac wouldn't have died oh from my the prescription God, drug, bro. because it was laced. That's what ultimately got him killed. Mac Miller, after his death, shocked millions. But people around the world paid tribute to him and are still paying tribute to this day. Yep. It's been seven years since Mac's death, but that doesn't mean he will be forgotten. Bro, Mac it's been so long, bro. Oh my God. Seven years already? Bro, that shit still hits like it happened like two years ago, man. Strive to be just a better human being. Always spreading love. Always so vulnerable. Yeah. And he always knew he had to face his truth. The disease of drugs destroys a lot out of someone. And the people close to the user too. Hell drugs, and Each dude. and every day, someone is taken by it. Depression is something that often people can overlook. But if there's one thing I can say, it's to just check up on that one person, you know? Some people may make it obvious, some don't. But that doesn't mean we as human beings can't just spread the ideas Mac always wanted to let out into this world. True, man. Bro, that's so sad, dude. What a W video, man. Bro. Uh, I did not, I didn't even think to consider that that shit was like seven years old, man. God, time is flying, bro. Time is flying, man.